Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to paint a beautiful red cardinal. While I just paint a flat uh, background, let's talk about the reference uh, image. Um, I'm going to use uh, orange and red colors for this. Uh, this we are going to do with a very minimal number of colors. I have chosen to uh, do a very flat wash uh, for the background and uh, we are not going to uh, do too much uh, details in the background. It will be a completely flat wash. If you have a bigger brush, you can also use that bigger brush and paint a lot of area of the background in, in a go. And also we are, uh, I have changed it a little bit and uh, we will uh, see the color uh, mixing or the colors we have used in this after we paint uh, the background. I wanted to save some time on this video. So this is a uh, reference image I have downloaded from uh, Use Splash. So Use Splash is a site where I generally go for my reference images. It is a royalty free uh, image uh, website. You can go there and search pretty much everything. So coming to the colors, uh, I'm going to use a mix of permanent red and vermilion uh, because if we use uh, pure red, red is a bit difficult color to handle and then we will give some highlights with the red and also I have mixed uh, a dull version of vermilion with the help of ultramarine blue. So as we always start here, uh, I have uh, put water on the whole body of the cardinal and I am putting more pigment as you can see in the reference image towards the right side of the wings and I am dropping some of the brighter uh, vermilion mix as you can see on the left side of the chest so this is going to be the base layer what I am doing now and lifting some of the colors uh, from the bottom and near the beak also lifting some of the color uh, from the tail so here it is completely dried up make sure it is completely dried and then this is going to be the second layer so for the second layer i have mixed uh, some of the vermilion and bit of ultramarine blue to dull it down if you see in the reference image the tail is a little bit dull it is not that bright as the body so i have not also put all the details from the reference image i am just picking few of the details from the reference image I would generally like to do the full version videos but they are very lengthy so do let me know in comments if you would like to see some full length videos where the painting process is not speed up you can always slow this down and paint along but if you want to see how in real time these are painted do let me know in the comments and I will try to make some of the uh, full length videos so here I keep uh, putting some of the deep red color uh, highlights as you can see and as followed in all the birds uh, till what i have done till now i put some pigment on the paper and then i take a damp brush and i just merge that uh, the edges of those colors so what i have uh, learned till now that watercolor is all about creating a contrast when you paint something so as you can see in the tail area because I highlighted that after lifting some color so I'm making sure that I'm putting some darker color nearby so that it is highlighted so I'm putting painting some more details on the wing don't worry too much about the details uh, put as much as you can So as you can see on the right side, I have very mi minimum colors mixed. I have the vermilion mix and then I have the permanent red. And then I have a vermilion and ultramarine mix. That's it. So 
so for the feet i have just put the light wash of the dull vermilion and i'm just painting a base layer now and later we'll darken it up with our shadow colors so when you choose any reference image just see uh, there are two or three things which uh, i generally try to uh, make sure are there in a reference photo is uh, the composition when i say composition means uh, the bird if it is just sitting flat on a branch may not look that interesting but how it looks down and just hanging there that looks more interesting the second point which i always follow is it has a good amount of shadow areas so that we can create some contrast uh, um, colors in our painting so these two things i always look for in in a reference image so here i'm putting i have taken that darker mix of vermilion and ultramarine and i'm putting more details in the uh, tail of the cardenie and with the same uh, mix i'm putting some more details on the claws again don't worry too much with the details uh, because this is not a exact biological or botanical drawing but if it is a representation as how you see your reference object so i'm continuing to put more details we are not going to do anything wet on wet now it will be all uh, wet on dry and make sure your base layer is completely dry before you try anything on top of it for the eye i have put a very very light mix um, of the vermilion and ultramarine blue mix i have mixed some indigo uh, for the for the highlighted black part if you're not confident again you can always use a, a black liner or you can also use a sketch pen anything is fine but i always find it uh, very relaxing to paint the details with a brush and make sure when you are starting the details uh, you are putting thinner uh, lines later you can always go back and add more uh, thickness to the pigment because sometimes we put more pigment and then later it looks out of the place or very dark i'm just using that indigo in, in bits and pieces across this is optional you don't need to highlight the beak but if you want you can highlight it with some of the permanent red or vermilion color uh, for the branch it's very simple i have just taken a very light mix of any brown color you have on your palette or from your leftover colors just take little bit brown or burnt sienna and then just give a very light wash on the branch i did not wanted to paint the branch in too much detail for this one i've just painted a little shadow under the bird so here the light is coming from top finally we'll paint the eye So do let me know if you uh, try this cardinal you can also try it in a different color combinations um, this is very simple to follow um, if you are a beginner in watercolor you can definitely follow this so this is it for today um, 
see you next time uh, with another uh, bird tutorial thank you all